Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to show you uh, how to change uh, the text color as well as the background color on selection of some text. Uh, let me show you exactly what I mean by that. Uh, here uh, I'm using Adobe Flash CS6 and uh, this is the published preview on the stage which has a darkish shade uh, I think it's pound sign triple three triple three let me be sure yes it is um, I have some text written in the shade uh, it's, it's bluish right and see as I select uh, some text or a few words here and there you can see not only the text color but as well as the uh, highlighted color or the background color changes too so if you ever wanted to do uh, something similar to this I'm gonna show you how uh, easily it is possible only if you have a custom class that I have ready for you so um, a prerequisite is that you need to place uh, an AS file or an action script file which you can uh, download from my website qualitylessons.net forward slash uh, downloads one and uh, once you place that action script file next to your FLA file the flash file uh, with, with a very uh, small code you'll be able to accomplish this uh, effect right so let's also look at the uh, folder where all the files are residing Okay, you can see this is the uh, flash file. I've named it text field color. This is the resulting Swift file, and this is the AS or the action script custom class that, as I said, you need to place next to the flash file, uh, which will result in this shockwave flash object or Swift file, which is uh, this people. So when you select some text uh, like this. And you click and drag or you just double click or multiple click uh, this is the way you are able to change the text color to your own uh, custom color and the background color to your own custom color let's see how this was made possible right and uh, again I'm gonna bundle the flash file as well as the AS or the action script file in a zip format and uh, I'm gonna upload it to my website qualitylessons.net for slash downloads one the number one you can get it from there okay so uh, all the hard work uh, I've already done for you see this is uh, the flash stage the size of which is 550 by 400 and I have given it a color a background color of pound sign triple three triple three and uh, I just have one single layer where the action script is put up let me open up the actions panel for you here I've actually imported the requisite classes so I've used two import directives imported uh, flash dot text or text format flash dot text or text field all right these are the packages and this is the uh, AS file people packages are nothing but folders okay now let's see what exactly I've done out here in line number four I've declared a variable and uh, you can give it any name that you would want I've given it uh, I called it my text color you could have chosen a different name uh, I've data typed it to unsigned integer a positive integer and I have made it equal to a color value which I've kept as uh, 0x you always need to fix uh, prefix 0x before the uh, hex code in uh, action script 3 that is the way it actually works okay so 0x and then the hexadecimal code which is double zero double nine double c which is a bluish uh, shade so this is the unselected text color the uh, color of the text in the normal state and then I've uh, declared uh, another variable bg color again the data type is unsigned integer and uh, the color that I've used is double f double f uh, double zero now this is the color of the text uh, actually this is the this is the color for the background color that I've chosen this is for the background color the BG color right another variable 
and this would be the color of the text in the selected state so that's uh, double five double zero double zero and as I said you always need to fix zero X before the color the hex code that is okay um, in the next step people would have done is I've created a new instance of the text format class and uh, the, the, the syntax is variable my format or any other name data type to text format that is the class name is equal to the new class name which is the uh, new uh, uh, keyword and this is the class name so variable my format of the type text format is equal to a new text format and then inside the bracket I've passed in two arguments the first argument is the font name so I'm uh, letting flash know that I wish to use the font Arial in the size 24 okay uh, in line number 11 people what I've done it uh, done is I've created a new instance of the text field class and uh, the way to do it is declare a variable data type it to text field make it equal to a new text field parenthesis parenthesis semicolon that's it then you need to push the text field onto the stage and uh, you just use the add child method and the name of the variable there you go okay uh, now in the in line number 13 through the uh, default text format property I made it equal to my format and my format if you remember uh, contains the information that the font should be Arial, the size should be 24 so the text field that's been pushed onto the stage will carry the font Arial size 24 uh, next up people what I've done is the X and the Y coordinates of the text field or TF I've set it equal to 50 pixels you never specify pixels just write the number 50 okay and in the next step uh, I've created a new instance of a custom class again as I said is available as a free download from my website uh, qualitylessons.net forward slash downloads number one okay and uh, how do you do it so you you declare a variable give it a name so I've given it a name of TFC Tango Foxtrot uh, Charlie okay uh, data type it to the class name which is uh, text field color it's a custom uh, class people we really don't need to bother what exactly is uh, there inside the class it'll do all the hard work for us but but, but make sure this AS file is placed next to the flash file that's very important at the time of generation of the Swift file okay and uh, make it equal to new so use the uh, new keyword text field color that's the custom class name and inside which I have passed in many parameters the first parameter is TF so the text field in question uh, to which I would want to apply the background color as well as the text color in the selected state uh, next argument is my text color which is this uh, then we have the BG color which is but here and then the selected color variable which is but here okay I passed in uh, several arguments out here cool and uh, then I've through the text property pushed in some text inside the text wheel which says Mohit Manuja that is me has shown us a great way to work with background colors that requires us to place a custom class uh, called text field color adjacent to the flower or the flash one cool I've used certain properties uh, with the text field people namely the word wrap which I've set to true the height of the text field which I've set to 500 pixels and the width uh, which I've set to uh, 300 pixels okay the result is this let me hit control enter to export the Swift file okay select some text and you can see the text color as well as the background color change and as I said it's extremely important that next to the flash file you place the uh, AS uh, flash action script 3 file which is a custom class uh, and the result would be this which is the shockwave object or the swift file which works like this so people uh, 
you can download the flash as well as the AS file from my website polodlessons.net forward slash downloads one and I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, tutorial and I also hope that you'll keep coming back for more. You have a good day guys. Bye bye. Peace.